1340-96.5 KVGC, as promised, Beth Stanton from the Interfaith Food Bank is with us today. And, Beth, I understand you had just a, uh, a fantastic distribution uh, yesterday. It was perfect. Yeah. It was so smooth and so easy. We had the Jackson and Sutter Creek Fire Departments there that were helping us with um, with our, our traffic, traffic control. control. But there was no traffic issue. Everything okay. was perfectly fine. Um, Katie and Nicole... Our staff at the food bank, they're just wonderful. And they... Um, you only they have had... two people that work at the food bank? No, we have, oh, oh, we have oh, lots oh, of people. Okay. We have Patty, we have Carlos, we have Chris. Oh, okay. And we have all of our volunteers oh. who just do an outstanding job. But they set up appointments for distribution this year, and people oh. adhered to that, and Great it just worked idea. out perfect. Great idea. So there was no congestion. There was no... Last year, it was such a... Yeah, a, I... Tough time. You did like what five six hundred uh, yesterday. Yesterday we did two hundred and nine boxes at the church. At the church. That's how many showed up. And then we also have I think three ninety are how many people are distributing. Like the church of Nazarene, I think is doing a hundred. Yeah. Um, all of the churches are doing fifty or uh-huh. you know however many they're doing, and then. Um, there are a lot of people that are doing some. I know the banks are doing some. Beth, is it too late to sign up now for one of these baskets? One of these to receive boxes? one? Yeah. It's too late to receive the actual Project Thanks box, but it's never too late to come in and sign up at the food mm-hmm, bank. Mm-hmm. And we do have Thanksgiving-ish food yeah. at the food bank. Do so any turkeys left if I come and get a turkey? We do maybe? have some turkeys. We still need turkeys. So if you are thinking about dropping turkeys off, please do. And these are turkeys that will be used for Christmas, right? Absolutely. Still... And Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving's not until thir- ne- a week from today. So we'll still give them out up yeah. until Wednesday. Better start thawing it out, though, by Monday. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. That's why everybody gave us a lot of flack for doing it so early, no. but it wasn't so early because no. you have to start thawing stuff out. No, I was I was one of the people that said, what a good idea to do it on, on that Wednesday before because, you know, I mean, really, you need – you need I don't I don't care what it says, what the recommended thawing time is for a turkey. Oh, you have to have a week. You've got to have more than – more than a, 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 at least a day more – than they say. If I'm gonna... it's more than five pounds, <laughs> you've got to thaw it out. Right. So if folks want to donate turkeys or donate monetary, you know, monetarily, monetarily, how can they just get, call the food bank, drop by the food bank? Absolutely. Mm-hmm. 12181 Airport Road. And then we have a story today that you're going to be at Argonaut High School on the 24th. Uh, apparently there's a uh, the uh, drama club, the... Uh, Culinary Academy, the Latin X group, and a bunch of folks are, it's called Amador Can, and it's a talent show and dinner, and they're giving all the all the uh, proceeds and canned food to the Interfaith Food Bank. So, Terrific. Yeah. Yeah, that's so a, like, it's a great. Absolutely fantastic. So. Yeah. All right. So, Beth, I want to thank you for stopping by today. Well, thanks and, for uh, having me. Again, if it's it's not too late to ever sign up at the food bank. No, it's not. But it's eh, kind of too late to sign up for the Thanksgiving As long as we boxes. have Thanksgiving food, as long as we have food mm-hmm. and you need it, come into the food bank and sign up because we'll give it to you. There you go. Best Stanton, thanks for stopping by today. All right. Elsewhere in the news for this morning, the Amador County Elections Office has released another small update of about 100 ballots, and no races have changed. However, the lead continues uh, to be held by Deborah Pulskamp, now by 11 votes uh, over Shane Alderson in the trustee area two of the Amador County Unified School District race. Uh, Kim Grady, Amador County Elections Chief, reports they have about 600 more ballots left to count. They hope to have the final results by early next week. And again, Kim said they have just a lot of provisionals, a lot of vote by mails that were turned in to other precincts and other counties, and some duplicates that still need to be run. Well, the Amador School Board met last night and received reports on school achievement and student health. The first report on school achievement across a wide range of measures called the California Dashboard, it intends to provide the public a host of data on different school sites, including graduation rates, absentee and suspension rates, parent engagement, access to services, and more. 
Now, Amador Unified will be loading its data today. should be available to the public at caschooldashboard.org. The board also heard a report last night on student health. The presentation contained a mix of positive and negative students reported low substance use and physical violence compared to other schools in California, but close to 40% of high school students reported chronic feelings of sadness or hopelessness. And the Amador County Sheriff's Office currently investigating the theft of over $1,400 of alcohol from Safeway in Martell. According to reports, last Saturday around 3 in the afternoon, a man with short dark hair and a goatee wearing tan slacks, black sandals, and a black T-shirt with colorful printing on the front entered Safeway carrying a green backpack with the purpose of stealing alcohol. The man entered the business and walked to the hard liquor cabinet where he picked the lock and proceeded to load a minimum of eight high-end bottles of alcohol into the backpack. The stolen alcohol totaled approximately $1,440. The suspect then left the business in an unknown direction. No vehicles were spotted and tied back to the burglary. A video of the man can be viewed on both the KVGC and Sheriff's Office Facebook page. If you have any information about the subject, please contact the Amador Sheriff's Office. If you wish to remain anonymous, call Amador Secret Witness at 223-4900. And a sheep ranch man recently arrested for making criminal threats, according to the Calavera Sheriff Department. Deputies responded to a residence on El Dorado Street in Sheep Ranch, where a male subject was threatening to harm people. Deputies took statements from subjects on scene who reported 36-year-old Jeremy Raymond was inside the home. Attempting to speak with him, deputies were reportedly met with verbal confrontations and threats. While attempting to leave the scene, Raymond lunged at one of the deputies before being taken into custody. He actively resisted arrest, attempting to spit at the deputies while continuing to make numerous threats. Booked into the Calaveras County Jail, Raymond was charged with criminal threats, resisting arrest, battery on, and threatening a peace officer, and received $130,000 bond. And concern regarding smoke from the campfire has postponed Sonora High's playoff game in Colfax this Friday night, and in turn delaying all playoff games by a week. California Interscholastic Federation officials are giving all the teams a week off due to poor air quality stemming from the blaze burning in Butte County. The San Joaquin Section Division 5 playoff game against Colfax has been pushed to next Friday the 23rd at 7 p.m. in Colfax. If the Wildcats, the only mother load league team remaining in the playoffs, win, the team's next game will be the San Joaquin Division 5 Section Championship at Lincoln High School on Saturday, December 1st in Stockton. Well, the 18th annual Hospice Tree of Lights Memorial Celebration, honoring loved ones who have passed, has a new location for a special reason. Thursday, December 6th, the hospice team will showcase their beautiful new 14-foot blue spruce tree at their Jackson Agency office. The tree was recently donated and planted on the property by Chad and Erica Simmons of Simmons Landscape Company and will serve as the Tree of Lights for years to come. The event will begin at 5.30 with opening welcome by hospice chaplain George Stathos, followed by music, candle lighting, reading of names, lighting of the Tree of Lights, and refreshments. To donate to the Tree of Lights and memorialize a loved one, go to hospiceofamador.org, click on the Tree of Lights poster, or download the form from the website or Facebook and mail to hospice. And again, some areas of Amador County experiencing heavy smoke due to a smoke drift from the campfire burning to the north of us. Public Health advises community members that the air quality may not be safe for young children, pregnant women, the elderly, those with chronic health conditions, even sensitive medical conditions. Remember, contact your health provider or if you're experiencing a health emergency, call 911. Also, Amador County Animal Response Team, ACART, is accepting new and gently used items to deliver to the Butte Humane Society. They're collecting items for small animals like uh, cats and dogs, even uh, uh, rats, turtles, uh, small animals like that. They're taking dog food, cat food, treats, leashes, dog beds, uh, watering bowls, food bowls, gift cards. Uh, take them to Animal Control today or tomorrow between 10 and 4.30. They are closed for lunch from 1 to 2. And the evacuation teams of Amador are also accepting donations for large animals. That's the uh, ETA. 
and they're working with Amador County Animal Control. You can donate items for large animals. They're working with the Livestock Evacuation Group uh, handling the campfire. They're looking for salt licks, shavings, panels, horse blankets, water buckets, feed buckets, stall forks, uh, and other items, uh, water hoses, spray nozzles, and the like. You can take those to the Lawton Ranch in Jackson. And for more information on any of these, contact us here at KVGC. And Argonaut Can, a school-wide community dinner and talent showcase benefiting the Interfaith Food Bank of Amador, will be held Saturday, November 24th at Argonaut High's Multipurpose Room. Doors open at 5.30, dinner at 6, tickets only $7 in advance, $10 at the door, or bring five cans of food and only pay 5 bucks. Advanced tickets can be purchased at Argonaut High School. That's the Latin X Club, the uh, Culinary Academy, and the uh, the Drama Club putting that together. Doesn't that make you feel good, uh, Beth, when you hear of uh, you know young kids putting things together like that to help out the food bank? Oh, it does. Yeah. I'm really excited about the culinary arts deal. The the teacher comes up to the food bank, oh, really? and we work with him because we get a lot of produce. Lots mm-hmm. and lots of produce, um, especially from Food Link and Slough House. Mm-hmm. So he comes oh. up and we share that with him because yeah. we have so much and it's so good to know that it's being used. During the summer, if you go by Slough House on Saturdays, you'll see people out in the fields, their cars and what. You that, pick. Yeah, exactly. That's that that's you pick. But I think you have to do 100 pounds or you something You don't. Like if that. you do it for a charity, you just, you can do, just do whatever what you, you want. Can. Oh, that's yeah. good. And that's it's good. great. Yeah. It's a great program. All right, Beth, thanks for coming in today and be with us. That's a look at local news on a gold country Thursday morning from the KVGC newsroom. I'm J.D. And I'm Jim Geedy reporting. Local news brought to us today by Sutter Amador Hospital and Howard's Body Shop. Do you want to talk more, Beth? Beth wants to talk more. She She's concerned about her friend Wayne Garibaldi, who's going in for a medical procedure this morning so i just want to wish him well yeah wish him well wish him clean and clear what did you want to talk about i wanted to just remind people about the turkey trot oh oh turkey trot turkey trot one week from today thanksgiving morning out at lake taboo rain or shine and i'm thinking rain it would be very clear clean crisp a lot of fun I'm expecting Dr. Bob to come in any day now to talk about this. He should because be. He, uh, yeah, he, he, and he, also, he also calls us uh, during the turkey drive, like when it first starts. Well, that's what and we then, uh, hope to get on the air yeah. again. When's it start? 7, 7.30, something like eight. that? 8. Oh, that late? I believe it's at 8. Well, I thought it was like really earlier than that. I thought it was like well, 8. Well, 8, and it only takes, I mean... About an hour? Yeah. And then you're back home and... Uh, Cooking. Yeah, getting it ready. So uh, is there any charge to, to enter the turkey trot? No charge. Okay. But you should bring a can of food mm-hmm. or a bag of food okay. or your checkbook right. to and benefit donate the Interfaith Food Bank. That's great. That's great. It is great. And this is families, too? This is not just competitive Absolutely. runners? This is anybody that can be in this. Oh, and it's very competitive in mm-hmm. that... Um, you don't really win anything, but you do win complete annual bragging rights for yeah. the best costume. Dr. Ruddick goes each year and always lets us know that he always yeah. has a good time with that, too. You so know, the good. fastest team, the best dressed team, the mm-hmm. oldest team, the youngest team, <laughs> the biggest team, the smallest maybe, team. Maybe Wayne and I should put the oldest and biggest and smallest team. I think so. Together there, so. All and right. the cleanest team. Wayne could be on the cleanest team. <laughs> how do you de- how do you get detail uh, information on this? Information on our website, okay. feedamador.org. All right. Um there are posters up just about everywhere that I know. We've had it on our Facebook a few times. About the turkey um, we'll trot? put it up again probably daily between mm-hmm. now and Thanksgiving. Um, go to our website feedamador.org. And you know, we just want to say one thing too, that uh, there's uh, just, we think of the food bank during the holidays, but you need to think of the food bank year round too. You do. You really do. So how many people you help? We have about 3,700 families right now. JD always likes these statistics that you give. Um, We're going to put brand new statistics on the website Mm -hmm. in December because we have a brand new um, software. So keep track better. Yeah. We have brand new good strong numbers on there right now beth thanks for coming by thank you jim all right remember for the latest news traffic and weather 24 hours a day visit our website kvgcradio.com